Hey, what's up guys? This is BMB and another YouTube tutorial, another post about the PCB learning topic, and today's video is about how to generate Gerber files for your PCB design, so let's get started. Talking about Gerber files, in most of my previous projects, I was always advising you to create your own PCB design in order to introduce a better appearance for your project. And in many projects, I was recommending the use of GLC PCB platform as a PCB supplier since it provides a great service with the cheapest cost and I was telling you to upload the Gerbil files in order to produce the PCB design that you have created for your project. But what are these Gerbil files in the first place? Searching across the internet, the Gerbil files or Gerbil format is an open 2D binary vector image file format. It's the standard file used by PCB industry software to describe the printed circuit board images like the copper layers, the solder mask, legends, etc. From here, we can notice that Gerber is used in PCB fabrication data. PCBs are designed first in a specialized electronic design automation, or what we call EDA, or a CAD system. The CAD systems output PCB fabrication data to allow fabrication of the board. This data typically contains a Gerber file for each image layer, and we can find many files extensions depending on the layers of the design, so we can find the top copper file, the top solder mask file, the top silk file, etc. And each one has its extension format. All the files are enclosed in one folder and compress it to a .rar or .zip archive with a standard file extension. There are two major generations of Gerber format. The first one, extended Gerber or RS-274X, and the second one is standard Gerber or RS-274D. In order to get the Gerber files of the circuit design to produce the PCB, we need a EDA or a CAD system. In this tutorial, I will use Proteus software to show you how to get Gerber files from a circuit design and then upload it and produce it using GLC PCB platform. But if you are running another CAD system like Altium Designer, Circuit Maker, Eagle, KiCad, etc., you can refer to the following article and select the EDA you are using and you will get assistance on how to get Gerber files. So I will get back to one of my old projects, which has a circuit board that could add more digital inputs and outputs to any Arduino board. You can find the project videos link in the description down below. I was using shift registers in this project and some other electronic components to create the following schematic and the Proteus Isis. Talking about the schematic, it will be much more better if you make it clear from the beginning to avoid the use of many wires and use terminal connection to create a clear schematic. Once I make the schematic, I move to Proteus RS extension to design the appropriate PCB for my project. The circuit design has two layers and I have included some logos and labels in the top silk layer. Remember its file format is GTO. Once you finish the circuit design, you can get its Gerber files from Proteus RS by clicking on Output, then you select Generate Gerber or Exelon files. Once you click on it, the CADCAM output window will appear and you have to select some parameters. So first you need to select the folder in where you want to save the .zip file. Select the option of Output as zip file and just tick the other options. Moving to the Layers and Artwork section, where you should select the layers that you have in your design. So in my case, I'm using the top and bottom copper since the design is a two-layer design. Top and bottom silk, top and bottom resist, the edge file, the mesh one file, and the drill. Well, the drill file has a TXT extension and it indicates where to make the drill for each through-hole component lead. Select the millimeter unit and do not forget to select the RS-274X format. Then the last parameter is the resolution. A 500 DIP is good for most machines. Once you click OK, you get your Gerber files ready. And now if you want to place an order, just move to GLC PCB website where you can upload your circuit design using the saved Gerber files. Before moving to the payment, 
you can make one last check on your PCB design using the PCB viewer which display the final view of your PCB design. Now through some simple clicks, you can get your circuit for the cheapest price and as you can see, all what we have designed has been produced very well without any single mistake. So here is the PCB that we have ordered and here are the components soldered each one to its placement and as you can see guys, such technique will make your work much more professional. Done for today, do not forget to watch our previous project video which is Arduino MIDI controller and to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome videos. One last thing, make sure that you are doing electronics every day. It was BMB from Megadas, see you next time.